2020 Vision allows users to customize the advanced contrast feature. Let's begin by first starting the software. Bring up the control panel by pressing H on the keyboard and click on Preferences. Click on Contrast Sensitivity, then click the Advanced button. While in this window, also click on Enhanced and Weber, then click on Calibrate. You will be taken to a white screen. Use your mouse to click on areas of the screen where you would like to measure the luminance. In other words, click in the areas where you know optotypes will appear. The more points you set, the better the contrast accuracy. When you're ready to move on, click the purple arrow or press return on your keyboard. This next step requires you to use a photometer. Put the photometer up to the screen directly on one of the measuring points. Keep it there and press the space bar so that you can clear the screen. Measure the luminance now and then press the space bar again so that you can enter the value. Do this for each point on the screen. When each point has been measured and has a value, press return or the purple arrow. The software will require you to repeat this step 10 times. And with each step, you will see that the screen gets darker and darker. When you are finally done measuring the luminance with your photometer, a window will appear saying you have successfully calibrated the contrast response of this monitor. Click OK. Now, click Defined. Enter the defined contrast settings. This may be entered as whole numbers or decimals. The order of this list can be rearranged. Just click and drag. Then click Done. There are two ways to engage the advanced contrast. You can press T on the keyboard to toggle from normal contrast to graduated contrast and finally advanced contrast. On the remote control you can press this light blue button here. And just like the keyboard, you will need to toggle through the other contrast settings to arrive to your newly defined advanced contrast. The right arrow will cycle to your next defined contrast setting, while the left arrow goes back to the previous defined setting. Once you choose your optotype and your display, you are ready to begin using the advanced contrast feature. That's all there is to it. For more screencasts on 2020 vision, please visit us at canellasoftware.com.